Pro Wrestling, a big day for AEW, maybe the biggest ever AEW Dynamite tonight. So let's bring in Mr. Tony Khan. Tony, good morning to you. Good morning, Dave. How are you? I am great, and and I I am not pulling any punches because, as I just said, this may be the biggest episode of Dynamite ever. It's a huge episode of AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite. We have the undisputed world championship match tonight. So much slated for the card, and we're going to have a lot of great action tonight, I promise. Uh, last week, I thought, is one of the best episodes we've ever had. And we were coming off a great episode the week before that, too, with the Quake by the Lake. So it's a great time for AEW and should be a great show tonight on TBS. It's on at 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Central. Uh, we're all really excited about it. And thanks for having me on today to talk about it. No, it, it is an exciting day. And like you just said, obviously, what we're going to see tonight, a match that I thought we were going to see at All Out and Busted Open will be at All Out, uh, All Out Weekend in Chicago. But now we're getting it on free TV. Uh, very interesting because we're just a couple of weeks away from one of the biggest pay-per-views of the year. And now we're getting it on free TV tonight on Dynamite. Well, huge matches on tap for tonight on Dynamite, and it's a really exciting time of the year for us. It was around this time of the year last year CM Punk first arrived in AEW. It was uh, a year ago this past weekend he first showed up, and then uh, we started to get a sense of where things might be going. And, of course, then uh, in the, the week leading up, we announced CM Punk versus Darby Allin. Of course, we last year we had the tag team eliminator tournament going on and we weren't sure who was going to be heading into the final to wrestle the young bucks this year of course different tournament we have the world trios championship tournament going on so again very exciting tournament going on and and this week to see who's going to be up to face kenny omega and the young bucks in the dynamite bracket final we have a really exciting match on tap tonight set for the death triangle to take on Will Osprey and Ozzy Open. I'm excited for that. Very, very excited for that. And, you know, you look at us getting closer and closer to All Out. What are we going to get at All Out when it comes to this AEW World Championship? Very surprised that we're getting this match tonight. I'm happy. I'm sure a lot of fans are happy as well that we're getting a match that we really thought we were going to see on the pay-per-view tonight. Well, we got some exciting uh, announcements leading towards the pay-per-view. And then, of course, we have a world championship match tonight. We have the AEW world champion CM Punk wrestling the AEW interim world champion John Moxley, uh, who's had an amazing summer defending the championship since the injury of CM Punk. And uh, it's going to be a great match tonight. We're in Cleveland, Ohio. Ohio, of course, the home state of John yep. Moxley. And uh, CM Punk coming off this injury, but uh, now for the first time since uh, our AEW Dynamite at the LA Forum, which was another one of the biggest shows and best shows we've done, it was really great uh, to see CM Punk return to AEW TV at the Quake by the Lake. And last week he came out firing him and John Moxley started throwing live rounds at each other, both verbally and then physically. And uh, it's just a really exciting situation. And then when they came back out and started fighting again, it became clear these guys were not going to make it to all out without fighting. And they both wanted to go. So I thought it was a great chance for the fans on TBS to get a world title match to see this situation uh, unfold on TBS tonight. And a lot more things. Uh, coming into focus tonight as we approach All Out. So it's a, it's a really exciting time for us and to have two of our biggest stars going one-on-one and a lot of other great action on tap for tonight. I think it's going to be a great night. Yeah, you know, awesome. you, Yeah, and and you mentioned you mentioned the, the verbal barbs uh, that, that punked through and even throwing Hangman Page into it, like – you know, it's it's hard to control CM Punk when he's on the microphone, Tony. Well, it's unresolved anger, I think, from the world title match at Double or Nothing, and we had not really tied up all those issues. I, CM Punk made one appearance to wrestle after Double or Nothing, 
And then it was immediately after that that he got injured and was forced to step away. So I think there was clearly some stuff that never got resolved uh, at double or nothing. And then uh, immediately jumped into somebody who has challenged him and in not a type of match we've ever had in AEW before. You know, we've had uh, interim championships established, but we've never had an interim world championship and never had an undisputed world championship match like this. So it's a very exciting thing for TBS tonight for us and uh, just been a great time for the show. You know, it's been 12 straight weeks going into tonight that AEW's been one of the top two shows on cable for 12 straight Wednesday nights and uh, hope to continue the streak tonight. And it's been a great summer, thanks to the fans of AEW really supporting us through what could have been a really challenging summer in a lot of ways was with a lot of the top stars out. And only now, in recent weeks, have we started to see a lot of them come back with Kenny Omega making his return last week, CM Punk a week prior and stepping back into the ring tonight. And, of course, Brian Danielson coming back a few weeks ago, having that amazing two out of three falls match with, with uh, Brian Danielson versus Daniel Garcia last week. And uh, step by step, I feel like AEW is approaching a hundred percent again. And it, of course, last summer it was when we really launched with this huge group of stars that arrived in AEW. And now we're getting close to the first time we've had all of our stars back at the same time, which is really exciting. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited because you talk about stars being back and I see that Kylan King has made her way back and she's someone who I thought I've seen a lot in Kylan. I think she's an incredible talent and um, it's cool to see her. She's going to go up against uh, Dr. Britt Baker, but it's cool to see her get a new opportunity in AEW and hopefully a chance to shine and show what the world like what she's capable of because she's amazing. So I'm excited yeah, I for love- that match. I love the Kylan King's wrestling and her work ethic, and I think she's a great person. She is somebody that had been in AEW and is a really hard worker and has gone out in the independent scene and done a really good job and built up a reputation and then came back and had an awesome match last week with Tony Storm on Dynamite. Yeah. And uh, I thought it was excellent. And now, uh, as we approach tonight's show, I am – Really, really looking forward uh, to seeing Kylan King get in the ring with Dr. Britt Baker, especially after seeing the great match she had with Tony Storm last week. We had Kylan King wrestling on AEW Dark last night. She picked up the win and then called out Dr. Britt Baker, who actually showed up, and they got into a physical altercation, and I think Britt was surprised. Kylan King really has come a long way since the last time she'd been in the ring with her, and Kylan King beat up Britt and left her laying last night on AEW Dark outside the ring. So yeah. uh, should be a really interesting situation tonight on Dynamite. Well, and I think that that her stepping away, because perhaps whatever it was, whether you guys didn't see it in her there or, or she wasn't ready or whatever the cases may be, but for her to step away and grow as a performer and gain back that confidence in herself and is definitely shining through now Um on television, I think, and hopefully it continues to shine through. So I'm excited for that. Yeah. You know, too. I'm always going to root for the women. I can't help yeah, it. Yeah, to see Kylan <laughs> and should be really fun. And uh, yeah. me too. And, and, and Tony Storm, uh, of course, the number one contender is going to be watching that real closely. And she's done such a great job since she came in. Right on. And yeah, speaking of the women at All Out, we're going to see Tony Storm and Thunder Rosa. They're a tag team. Thunderstorm, they're very good friends. And then this, you know, you get this kind of championship opportunity. Like, you know, your feelings about that, Tony, because I feel like they both have good chemistry together as friends, but we've seen them in the ring before. This should be an interesting contest at All Out. Well, they had a great match in Chicago at Forbidden Door. And since then, Tony Storm has just been on a great roll and has proven, I think she's done everything it would take to get another shot. And it's interesting. Uh, you know, they have been a great tag team and they've uh, at times really uh, been on fire as friends. And then we've seen them lock up as opponents. So Thunderstorm, no matter what happens, whether they're teaming up or whether they're fighting each other, it's always an exciting matchup. 
And I think uh, last week, Britt had some choice comments about the tag team of Thunderstorm and also uh, wanted to prove, you know, she's a better contender than Tony Storm and that she could do a better job. Well, we saw Kylan King put up a hell of a fight against Tony Storm. And uh, now we could see how she could do against Britt. You know, um, Tommy has said this before on the show that you, Tony, right now have the golden ticket. And that golden ticket is is Punk and Moxley. And we're going to see it tonight on Dynamite again. AEW Dynamite, we're going to get this Battle of the Champions, which is going to be amazing, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time on TBS tonight. But you have this golden ticket, and it's playing out on live free TV tonight, which is a special treat for the fans. Like, how difficult of a decision is to make as whether to have it on an episode of Dynamite or have it on a pay-per-view like All Out? Well, it's a great match for the fans now, and I think it would be a great match at any time. But tonight, Mm -hmm. uh, it felt like the right night for this big fight. And given last week, we really could not keep these guys apart. It just did not seem sustainable uh, to try and have this show get taken down week after week by these guys who uh, were clearly going to just tear the ring apart if we, you know, continued this way. So uh, we saw last week we couldn't even get the show running. And, of course, uh, you know, Mark Sterling and Tony Nese were coming out for an interview. They couldn't even get that going. John Moxley hijacked the show, and then CM Punk was out, and they were fighting again for the second time in the same night. So uh, these guys wanted to fight, and uh, I think – Tonight presents a great opportunity on TBS for a big fight. And, of course, as we approach All Out, the card is going to be massive, and I, we're going to have a much better idea by the end of the night what it will look like um, as we get closer to All Out on Sunday, September or Sunday, September 4th, yep. uh, Labor Day weekend, I was about to say. No, and there's nothing better than wrestling in Chicago. As I mentioned, we'll be out there, you know, AEW Fan Fest uh, on September 3rd, and of course, all out on September 4th. And it's just great having those conventions like you have to get fans together. So I'm really looking forward to All Out Weekend because it's not just about what's taking place that night on the show, but it's an entire weekend. It is kind of like a celebration of AEW. And you mentioned it earlier, Tony, about the injuries, and now every Everybody's coming back and we're, you know, we have the return of CM Punk, the return of Kenny Omega, but yet you weren't, you didn't lose anything over the summer. I know it's always tough for you to lose some of your big stars due to injury, but now here you are, we're approaching the fall and it seems like you're firing at all cylinders. Yeah. I think the company is really in a strong place. Last week we got such great feedback about the show that it was one of the best shows we've done. Yep. And the previous week, I got a lot of great feedback about the Quake by the Lake, too. And now I think uh, we really are getting back to a place where we've been full strength again. And it was about a dozen weeks uh, that we really had this injury bug play out. And it really was very gratifying to keep our streak going of uh, – first or second place finishes, keeping Dynamite in the top two shows on cable, most weeks number one out of the past dozen weeks. And uh, I believe it's it's uh, eight or nine out of the last 12 weeks we've been number one, and then number two the weeks we haven't been number one. So uh, it's been a great run, and I think to do that with some of the biggest names in the history of AEW and, and some of our top stars that had been out, it was that was great. But now really things have come into focus, and hopefully – Uh, you know, we're going to be backfiring on all cylinders after tonight. Yeah, Uh, well, that's interesting, David, because I have like kind of a different opinion on that because I go, um, I was actually excited. I'm sure it's frustrating from a company standpoint when you have, you know, these are your investments and, and these top stars of who you've put the company behind and then they're out on injury, but it almost forces your hand in a sense um, and your creativity to then perhaps take a look at some of these other stars because you have an immense amount of talent signed 
um, that you haven't really put the ball behind yet to then start building them up to that. Mm. You know, it's almost and now it kind of makes it different, a different landscape as these new stars or, you know, the older stars are coming back from their injury because now some of these younger talents who wasn't getting the television time before and now have grown on television since these guys were out with injury have grown. And now so they're almost competing with these new talents who have earned their television time. You know, so it's exciting times. And I think it just adds more um, competition, both, you know, in the locker room and just out there in general for everybody just to keep competing their, you know, at their best performance and just different options for storylines and for the audience to get to know more characters and, and, and talents that you have there that they perhaps weren't seeing before. So I think it's like a blessing and a curse. Yeah, it's a great point. And, uh, you know, that was a lot of the positive and the silver linings out of it. And uh, so there were benefits. And, uh, you know, it's hard when you're when we had a period of several weeks, you know, a couple (laughs) couple months where there was no Brian Danielson, no CM Punk, no Kenny Omega. That really added up. Um, But uh, then when we got through that uh, now, it's great. And to your point, yeah, it was a big silver lining because there were a lot of people that uh, did get the benefit of it. And, uh, you know, we tried different people out in different spots and some of the things really worked and, uh, we learned a lot from it. So, right. uh, absolutely. Uh, it, it's now really great to be in this position we're in now and so much to look forward to on the show tonight. I'm also, uh, really excited about Chris Jericho confronting Daniel Garcia face to face. I think one of the really interesting stories of the summer has been, uh, the sports entertainers versus the pro wrestlers, Jericho mm. and the Jericho Appreciation Society versus mm-hmm. the Blackpool Combat Club. And, of course, we saw a great series of matches in recent weeks between Brian Danielson and Daniel Garcia. That culminated in a two out of three falls match last week. Afterwards, Brian Danielson went to shake Garcia's hand and Chris Jericho attacked Danielson from behind before they could shake hands and show respect to each other. And uh, Daniel Garcia seemed to take exception to what happened after the match. And uh, I really, really think uh, it's going to be something to look forward to, something to watch tonight to see what unfolds when Jericho and Garcia go face to face tonight. And also what does Brian Danielson have to say about all this? So I'm, I'm excited for that also tonight on dynamite on TBS. Um, Tonight, obviously, Moxley, Punk. Let me ask you, Tony, is this the biggest match in Dynamite history? It's certainly up there. I mean, we've had world title matches before. I think this would be right there. We've had, of course, uh, J- John Moxley defending the championship in big matches before. Uh, in his first title reign, of course, John Moxley versus Kenny Omega at Winter is Coming was a huge yep. match uh, with a very surprising ending. Uh, and then... I would put this right there, I, you know, possibly the biggest match we've ever had on Dynamite. Certainly, uh, when the world title's on the line, that's about as big as it gets. And tonight is, you know, a very unique circumstance with the undisputed world championship, a world champion versus the interim world champion for the first time ever in AEW tonight on Dynamite. You know, you mentioned Moxley. This is his home state tonight in Ohio. Add all out punk in Chicago. What do you think the fans are going to do? I mean, Punk, as you saw his return, the pop he got, you know, maybe the biggest pop we've seen in a long time is when Punk made his return, as you said, just over a year ago, last August. Like, what do you think the fans are going to be like tonight for this match at Dynamite? Well, I think the fans will be very excited about the match. I think there's going to be fans of both men, obviously, uh, you did mention it's John Moxley's home state, but CM Punk's one of the most popular wrestlers in the yeah. world. So I, I'm not sure how the crowd's going to react to this, but I think there'll be a lot of anticipation and excitement around the world, and I'm excited to see it. I, you and know, I I yeah, there's no doubt. And Tony, as you know, as a longtime pro wrestling fan, wrestling's made up of not just matches, but moments, those types of matches and moments that last a lifetime as a fan. And I'm sure you have a list of your favorites. I I know I have mine, Mickey, as well. This could be one of those nights tonight on Dynamite. Like, to me, this is a must-watch episode of Dynamite because you're getting these two, you know, two of the biggest 
most popular wrestlers in, in, in our generation right now tonight on free TV for the championship in the main event, but also what, how this is going to lead up to all out in just about a week and a half. Like this is one of those, if not the most, I have to watch moments for dynamites for sure. I think so. I believe so. And I'm fired up uh, about the whole show and, really excited as we get closer to all out you know there's a lot of stuff i'm fired up for and uh we've never seen pack and will osprey in the ring together in america they've only wrestled once i was actually there it was in london a few years ago they had a 30 minute draw and it was a classic and i was fortunate enough to be there in person and that was the only time pack and will osprey have ever touched in a wrestling ring and uh, very excited to see all six men in that trios match tonight. I think Will Ospreay and Aussie Open versus Pac and the Lucha Brothers really bodes well, sets up to be a huge match tonight in that trios tournament, and we're going to try and get all the action in one show tonight as best we can. So uh, that's another huge match on tap tonight. Yeah, um, as yeah, well okay. as Dax Harwood against uh, Jay Lethal. That's going on yes. tonight. Thanks. That's going to be great. Really excited for that. Thanks, Mickey. Yeah. But that's a match I'm real fired up for. And I think uh, we heard a challenge made for a big trios match. We saw FTR come out. We know they have Wardlow's back. And great to see a one-on-one match tonight. Two of the top in-ring wrestlers, two of the top bell-to-bell guys in this business, Jay Lethal versus Dax Harwood tonight on Dynamite on TBS. And you talk about Wardlow. How much do the people love Wardlow? They love him. They right? Love him. Like I'm they that's not him. just me, but I'm like, you see the real like the people really, really just love him, which is crazy to, you know, it's hard to get fans to like fall in love with someone like that. So Yeah, he's wildly, wildly popular. And yeah. uh it's you know, somebody that the fans have really rooted for for a long time, even uh when it wasn't necessarily fashionable to do so. And when they weren't sure what kind of guy Wardlow was, I think people always suspected there was a good person in there. Uh, and to see the change in his character this year and the, and the way he stepped forward, it's really exciting. Uh, mm-hmm. So, you know, I'd be on the lookout for him tonight also. And what does he have to say about all this? So it's, yeah. a, it's a lot of fun things on tap for tonight's show. And uh, I'm just real excited about dynamite on TBS and, well, we're going to follow it up with a lot of big action on Friday on Rampage, too. So it's a big week for us. Yeah, and as we're getting closer and closer to All Out in Chicago, uh, Busted Open will be in attendance for All Out in Chicago. We'll be a part of AEW Fan Fest on Saturday. So really looking forward to that myself, Thunder Rosa, and Mark Henry. And, of course, uh, a huge episode of AEW Dynamite tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Time on TBS. We're getting the Battle of the Champions, CM Punk and John Moxley, to find out who is the undisputed AEW World Champion and what, how this leads to All Out and just days away from their biggest show of the calendar year. Tony, can't wait for tonight. We'll be watching. We'll be talking about it tomorrow here on Busted Open. And, Tony, as always, thank you so much for the time. Thank you so much, Dave. Great to talk to all you. Mickey, Dave, thanks for having me on. You got it. All right. Thanks to Tony Khan, AEW owner and president. Don't forget, Dynamite tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern time.